wonderful evening um, hangout. And hey, everybody, we have Atava, Bijan, Justin, Noha, Roxy, Dude in uh, Shiny, it's um, Sean. Sean, yes, Shrey, and Zina. And we lost Matt. Matt is gone. But thank you for keeping space for me because I was afraid I would be able to come. So I started channeling about two weeks ago and I'm still learning and every day is different. It's a nice ride and very interesting one. I still don't know what it is. It's clearly not what I expected and it's not what is Jim doing or what Bashar is doing. I uh, more like channel myself, but the personalities come that are clearly not me. So the personality comes and then it's more me speaking and they just speak from my mind, from my experience what to bring up. So that's my understanding at the moment. But, but again, it, it changes every day. Now between the channelings, I also have experiences which are funny and interesting, like goosebumps, presence of thing of beings and they, um, some things and somebody's presence of somebody. So I I interpret it different now. And someone just knocking on my head right here. So interesting. I will go now. I will bring hmm, I will bring Rojo. Yeah, and uh, we'll continue from there. I will try to slow down. I was advised to speak slowly and g take pauses to give uh, to get the downloads. <coughs> Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm Rojo. I am Yayao on the ship. I'm male and female in the same body. I'm Jan and I started channeling through Max recently. Hi everyone. Hello, uh, much love. Oh much love. Hello. 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 So what, uh, how can I be of service today? Please go forward with your questions and topics. Do you possibly have any questions for, for us? Is there questions, any? yes. Why do you have unemployment? Uh, unemployment. Yes. Well, if people want to work, why they are prohibited from working? Yes. It's a difficult thing. I've, 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 I think the reason might stem from. I think the reason. I think it may stem from. Um, Shit. Interesting day today. Okay, go go ahead again, Audrey. Oh, sorry about that. That must be your um, mic technology. I'll let Max fix the technology. Hmm. The problem was we were getting feedback from um, somebody's connection, so just mute yourself when you're not speaking, please. Can I say something? Hello, this is Noha. I thought uh, this is this is part of ascension. You're being dropped. I don't know. I heard that sometime. I heard it sometime back. I think the reason why we might have employment might be because of issues with maybe my send from either the personal life or the business life. Ah, you're speaking from the person who is an employee. It, why would they be unemployed? My question was, I turned it a little different way. Why the humanity as a whole, as a collective, allows people not to work when they want to work? Well, it will stem from either, it might stem from either money loss. I know it has something to do with money. 
Yes. How money is a tool, as I understand, and why the money somehow prevent people from working? Well, sometimes if you just say want to build, if the employee, employer, sorry, wants a car built and the employee can't build a car, he has no qualifications, uh, the employer will not employ him. But if the employee, which is the person that wants to work on the job, has qualifications that they may do it, it also may have something to do with our technology. It's getting to the point on the planet now where technology has been developing at such a fast rate that most technology, most companies are basically building whatever they want with other machines. So people are getting replaced by machines now and there's no, you know, work for anyone because all the machines are doing their jobs for them. Interesting. Ah. And do you believe that? Well, that's what they say. I'm on the fence about it. Ah. It might also be because people have better... It might stem from abilities. Like if this person has a better ability than the other person, they will hire the person with better, with better skills. But it also means that the person can learn new skills, but they would rather have someone who has the experience more than the newbie. So the, those people who are unemployed, why don't they just come together and start doing something new? It might stand from f either f family life or personal life in issues evolving with getting along and scheduling everything. Ah, so it is a question of communication. Yeah. It's also a question of emotion state too because some people when they don't walk a lot and they can't really afford to have a social life because they take money from the government, they get real down and depressed and they just don't want to do any work because they feel like they're kind of like uh, not not doing what they should be doing and since they're not following their highest excitement they get real down oh. I, and oh, what I was about to say it might it might also be the sense with people not getting along together and not like I guess communicating and trying to stay in other people like some people can't work in a group and some people rather work alone in, in a group. Ah, people working alone, yes. Hmm. Right. Oh, interesting. Would it be a possibility that people who are working are selfish and don't allow others to work in their companies? It might also send from that as well, I think. Hmm. And some people discriminate and stereotype also against an ethnic group too. So ah. you may have that problem too. Yeah, so people divide others into groups and some of them they say these are ours and some of them they say these are not ours the others these are the others and they help each other in their group and they reject the people from outside it also a lot of people say that a certain ethnic group has more better skills than another ethnic group Ah, and being, we, yeah. Being, it sounds to me like it's it's kind of on control and fears, like ah. just old cycles of control and fear that just that's the foundation, simply which all the issues stem from with with unemployment. Hmm. Being a AL, what do you think of unemployment? Um, hmm. 
it's a paradox and it's I don't want to push you first let's let's I don't want to load my ideas onto you let let's discuss your ideas first what can you think what do you think can be done to to let people work what as a collective as a society could humans do to help unemployed people get their work I guess that um, first would be very nice if the people could choose something that they really love to do because the people call it work to something that you have to do some kind of activity to you have to do and and many times it's something that you don't really enjoy you just trying to to do it in order to take care of yourself or your bills and continue playing in this uh, in this uh, society these are the rules of the society we need to work we need to produce in order to take care of ourselves to make our payment and the thing that you were mentioning about how these uh, groups of people could be any group, could be a religious group, a social group, they join together and they try to help each other, but just inside their group, it's very limiting. We need to move forward for that because uh, we continue uh, with these uh, ideas that because we belong to one group or to other group, or that my group is better than the other, and then because I join in this group, I cannot uh, be able to socialize or share or help members of the other group, and that is that is very very limiting in my in my idea. I guess that it will be very nice if the people could choose a job, an activity that you really enjoy, that you really like, and uh, even uh, follow your biggest excitement in your life. That will be very nice. Thank you, thank you very much for sharing. Um, I invite more, more. So, what else could the society could could do to help people uh, start working? Yes, I think that um, <clears throat> I think that you have to look at the whole fact that most of our, at least speaking about the U.S., most of the economy is um, most of the jobs are in things like spying, technology things to serve the government and then the rest of the jobs are either specialized you need to get yourself into debt to get a degree or find a smart way to get a degree to get or um, it's just like retail which is just basically slave, being a slave, a paid slave just trading your time for money I so agree, yes you so gotta what look could at that be done? You... I'm sorry? What could be done as a society? What groups of people could do to solve that? Everyone needs to realize that the people are the most valuable resource and not something fake called money. And I think everyone's realizing that. So everyone knows it here. Ah, so people already realized. And now they still cannot start working in a way or f kind of creating stuff they feel like they are underutilized. So how can they become more utilized and uh, more active in doing so? What's, I, what specific steps uh, the society and groups of people could do? I guess that uh, one biggest step that the people can do first is to uh, find people with similar ideas and similar uh, interest by example if uh, the internet is gathering that we have uh, today we are uh, I'm meeting for first time with all of these of you my brothers and sisters but we, I already know ahead that we have a common uh, idea and common uh, sharing when you find people that have uh, more or less the same ideas that you, you can make a community and find people share your ideas and start putting people together, working in a common uh, in, in a common benefit for the biggest excitement of all the involved and for the benefit of the society as well. 
I fully agree. That's my opinion too, my humble one. I think people who are feel underutilized could connect together, find on the internet or in physical face-to-face -face connections, find people who are also available, available, come together and start doing things without waiting for the invitation or for the permission from the Mm, controllers. That's a very good please, idea. please expand more on, on what could be done by individuals and the societies and society and groups of people. Please expand. That's nice to hear and very interesting. Once people realize that you know money isn't everything and you know everyone can look after their their own selves they after they realize that they can sort of you know uh, go and follow what their highest excitement is yes. so once a person realizes that you know money isn't literally everything and that they can do whatever they want to do then you know then not so they're not in that you know I'm I, I'm just trying to survive week by week you know uh, most people wouldn't stay awake and, and they follow their highest excitement they fall into abundance and then you know we can help you know uh, create jobs and things with that because people will be coming up with their own ideas and that'll create more economic growth in uh, the planet yes when you look from above on Earth, it is very funny how it looks. Some nations have, in the dark, their lights shine very bright. New York, Chicago, California, much of Japan, Paris, London shine as bright stars. And some of the Earth, some of the Africa, some of the Asia, some of China is in the dark. The distribution of wealth and energy flows and the food chain is very disproportional. Very interesting and very surprising and very unfortunate, I would say. Rahul, I have something to say. Uh, I heard through Edgar Casey that uh, uh, 4D, 4 dimensional, will be fully on Earth by the year 32, 2032. Um, what do you think about that? At that time, then the money will won't be needed. We're gonna, money is gonna be that stage and need it on Earth. Do you see that coming at that time or is it going to be before? Because you're talking about money, we don't need money. Our light worker is saying we don't need money, but it's not going to be that soon. It's going to be that time. That's what I gathered from his teaching. I think we need yeah. to stop looking to for other people for answers and start creating. You know, it's not it's up to us to make the new systems is I think is what Rojo is trying yeah, to say. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, about us, but it's going to take that time. Till said 2032 is quite far away, you know? Why Why are you looking at that year when we're now? What do you mean now? It's going to now. take time to be settled on Earth. How is it going to take time? It's going to take time. Nothing's going to be that fast, you see? Who cares it's about that? It's, uh, this is the law of the Earth. It's nothing going to be on a blink of an eye. You know, it's going to take your time. How do you I know, think but it's just more important to live moment to moment and be happy because if you live like that, you're going to go crazy. No, I'm not. No, I'm, not saying you are. I'm not saying you are. I understand you, but this is how it is. I, this is reality. I think the best way to explain it might be is that I think we might be thinking too far in the head and not thinking about the present time, how we can work our way up to that point. Well, thank you. Uh, it's it's very enlightening to see how even most enlightened of you 
still have disagreement. <laughs> yes, I have disagreement with myself very often. Yes. It's the fun of being human. Yes, you know, one but person may have, may have so many opinions. You are <laughs> you are out of the picture, and you can see better. You know, can't you can't you, can you see that from the outside of space? We are that inside, or you don't see much, maybe. Uh, we are co-creating the reality. The reality is being co-created. It is like a computer game. We are writing the scenario of the drama as we go. And maybe the reality in which I will end up, you will end up, and every one of us will end up would be different, or it could be the same, or it could be branches of the same. So yes, on one branch, of course, it will be 2,000, whatever number you said. And another reality could be different. The, it branches, and it branches so frequently. So, it, as we say, by resonating with a certain reality, you shift towards it. You are being attracted through the law of attraction, of course. So, it depends on how you think now that number for you will change and some of us will end up in that number and some of us will end in another number. So yes, it is just another way to say that is there are decision forks which are to come and it, it's all up to you individually and collectively what you will decide and we will be standing by watching with anticipation. <laughs> yes, uh, but there is, of course, there is global, there is collective consciousness, and there are laws and inertia. But again, it's all very fluid. And these timelines are already visible from here. You already can sense them. We already can sense them. They're already getting messages from there. They're already being formed. The, the blueprints are already printed. But where you individually will end up, on this one, on this one, it's up to you. It's, it's your choice. Which part of the game, which scenario of the game you're going to play. It's up to you. You're free to choose that timeline or that timeline. And where do you want to go on each of the branching points? I hope it helps. Does it? Yes. Ah. Beautiful. Yes. Please continue. I, I'm, I'm most mm, delighted to hear the ideas of strengthening the network and creating clusters of independent entrepreneurship, if I say that word right, entrepreneurial activity. Please share. Um, something that we were talking about before, we were talking about how the people can meet each other in these communities and put things together. I was thinking about, by example, all these people that uh, have losing their houses now in these uh, events that have been happening with the economy being so bad, especially in the United States, or not only in the United States, in many places around the world. Many, many people are starting to come in together in a small communities and thinking about to forming, uh, to living to get together as a community in spaces uh, maybe closer to to the woods, more away a little bit from the city and trying to be a sustainable uh, society with members that are thinking about to be, to have a more green still, uh, style of life and to be closing to nature, the people that have similar interests can make a small community and build something together and live together in harmony. That is that is uh, one idea that comes to my mind at this time. Yes, that idea comes to my mind too. Yeah, I watched a family of farmers to start their own farm 
and they went broke because they couldn't sell their produce. They couldn't compete with big farms. The whole economic system didn't allow them to be sustainable, which is unfortunate. They they could do that. They just couldn't. They they could do it one way, but the economic, the money, as you say, didn't allow them. Hmm. But other things than agriculture might be more suitable for those activities where people come together and become partly independent. Yes, we, we see the communes of hippie communes and other communes trying and failing, trying and failing all the time. But in other cases, kibbutzes and monasteries and some of the franchises, they sort of survive. I don't see, I don't know, I, mm. would, would it be necessary for communities to be separated, be small and be somewhere in the wilderness? Or could these communities be formed right in the middle of mainstream life just by connecting people together? Did they pass the I idea, the question yes, right? I guess that, that it could be done in the same way as you, as you mentioned. The community could be, could be made in a city with members uh, meeting regularly and having activities and inviting uh, more members related to their own groups of family and friends and in that way continue uh, expanding the community in the same city when the place where you live. Yeah, that's what, what that was that what I was asking. Can you create a community right within the society, within the city, within the town, somewhere in the middle of civilized place still to come together and do something creative and be partly independent on restrictions which are money, economy and law restrictions somehow yes. be independent of these limitations. Something and relating to that that we're going to have to overcome is um, everybody's fears because even I like don't like going out in public sometimes and I think that's just a human nature thing you know like we need to overcome our fear of uh, coming together and I think discussions like this are important otherwise we wouldn't have even thought of it I think it's a yes the answer would be a yes but it depends on the people are they willing to come together in these big cities and all to make a community happen? Because if they are, well then yes, it will happen. But if you get a, 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 like a, a city of people and they're all closed off to one another and they're all looking out for themselves, well then it's very hard to, you know, get a community-based uh, place when everyone's looking out, out for themselves and not for the good of the whole city. Yeah. The members, I'm communicating with the members of the human colony community and they are dreaming about going to the colonies in space, visiting the aliens, us, visiting us on our ships. They wish so hard to create the colonies away from Earth, away from restrictions and away from negativity, when away, even away from duality. But why do you need to go up? Why can't you go together on the surface? Why can't you form human colonies on the surface, right between the others, just by holding hands tighter and starting something new and creative, unrestricted by economy. It's going to take a lot of people overcoming a lot of belief systems. I think it's definitely 
going to happen. And some might channel the technologies. We cannot give you the technologies, but if you channel them from anywhere, they are yours. They're not patented. We, do, we don't patent things. I don't think so. We don't patent. You are not permitted to give you, but you can take if you can. Hmm. So what kind of examples do you know of, uh, of such communities? Is it a dream or are they already happening? Female, please. Female, please first. Sure. Say you, uh, please ask your question again. I didn't get it. So, which examples do you know of the communities formed by light workers, which are already doing things now? Something that I noticed is something that uh, Max brought up, the meetup.com. I didn't even realize there was groups like doing Reiki and doing energy healing right in the city I live in. Ah, yeah, I know of those, yes. This is our great delight to see those. The Reiki groups. Yes, it was refreshing. Reiki share see. groups. Jim and Max were part of a community of Reiki Share. Yes, they come every once a week and then they become more popular and they were invited to YMCA, the sports complex and People were walking by and watching people doing Reiki and asking, what is that? Looks like massage, but it is not. Looks like magic in the YMCA. And then they went to the hospitals and did free Reiki to people, doctors, nurses. Yes. And they were open and they were delighted. Yes, energy healing is, is something which is very tangible. You can feel it in your fingers. You can feel it on your head. You can feel it in your heart. And as you feel it, you become open to higher dimensions. It opens the mind, yes. And it's all right there on... On the internet, you can sign up and come for free. Hmm. Yes. Explore that. Yeah, meetup.com is still one of those not very, how do you say? Yeah, still very bright stars in the bright networks, bright networks. It brings me delight, yes. Mention more, please go ahead. There was uh, many people wanted to speak. Let's talk about healing. Let's switch the topic. I think maybe healing would be uh, something which, where I could contribute a little bit. Yes. Anybody wants to speak about healing? Yeah, regarding healing, uh, I need some healing, please, to my shoulder. Can you do that for me, please, as a group? My right shoulder. It's static energy. Something is wrong there. Let's meditate. Let's talk a little before we, we send you energy, uh, or while we're sending energy. So when did it come to you? Your right shoulder, when uh, did it start to bother you? What was the event which precipitated that? It happened around January. Yes. What mm -hmm. was the worry? It's usually some worry, some vortex of 
Aha, worry. Okay, the fear which precipitates in the bone, in the jo in the joint ah. and in the bone. It must be about this job thing. It must be about the job thing that I would talk to you about uh -huh. today. It must be. I may yes. add occasion, my mom situation, things like that. Do you yes. stress out about it a lot? Stress? I uh, no stress, no. My mind always I'm a very positive person, but the thought comes up that comes back every now and then. I'm pushing it away. I'm trying to be positive. Like yesterday when I started the webinar with uh, Max. I was about to cry when I when I joined in, you know, and then towards the end, uh, he lifted me up. Thank you. Ah. See? Anybody can contribute to this shoulder yeah. question. Anybody? Why would she have a pain in the shoulder? If how long has it been lasting? It's been since January. Since January. Since January, were you in a car accident or anything? No, 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 no. It's just this mental thing, mental idea. Right. The only thing I can relate it to is I was in a car accident and I hurt my leg, kind of not too bad, my shin, my left shin. And um, long story short, I kept feeling the pain in that shin for like two or three years, even after it healed. And but I still had issues that I needed to process back then, but eventually it went away. I hope that helps. I think yours will go away too. You know, uh, I do Reiki myself and I uh, ask angels to come through and yet it's there. You know, I cannot lift my right arm straight with the uh, with the left one. It's, it's still held back, you know. It's, like, it's tight, you know. You should try a curcumin or a turmeric. Yeah. It's a turmeric. spice. Uh, yeah. uh, turmeric, yeah, I know turmeric. That's yeah. very good for... Uh, any type of bone or muscle problems, inflammation. I, I use it for everything. It's got hundreds of uses. Of course, yeah, I know about turmeric. I, what I was using is uh, castor oil. I heard that through. Uh, uh, I heard uh, about that too. I heard that through Casey, you know, Edgar Casey. So I was doing that, and still it takes time. You know, it's not so. It's not fast. It's a process. It's true. Everything is a process. Have you have have you had any like stress or anything but since you then? Heard me. I just said yeah, that John Cheese. I did say that. I answered <laughs> that part uh shiny. What's the matter with you? Uh oh, What's someone the, no, what's the Yeah. Um what I felt you have some a little negative emotion that holds you back. You are holding that back. It's touched your shoulder. Oh, that brings up a good point. Yes, and I, is there any emotions that you haven't processed, or is there anything you keep being repressed? No, actually, I'm doing yoga. Yoga, you're flexible like anything. And I was doing this, you know, when you held your hand back and you pull it to the front. I was like a, I was lenient like a sponge, you know. I was so flexible, like a plastic rubber. I don't know what happened <laughs> to me all of a sudden, you know. Yeah, not I'm not sure. I, sometimes, if you repress emotions, if you don't want to, like, if you had a bad experience and you don't process no, the emotion from it, that can cause it. But that's not sounding like it's the your only case. thing in my mind is this job thing I was thinking about that I was discussing yesterday. You know, it happened since January because, as I told you, the CV went there and it was hidden. You know, it, this, this idea gets you crazy. What is this? Conspiracy theory? Damn it, man. How can people be so rude and dirty? <laughs> I know, and, you know, you're know how you need to let it yeah, go. Yeah, I listened to your story earlier. Mm -hmm. well, how can you let it go and you're living it, you know, every day? You know, your mom is there. She, you know, she's sick. You're worried about her. Things like that. You know, it's, it's a day-to-day -day living thing. You know, and I'm worried about it. And the brothers are on the different side. So it's driving you crazy, you know. And you, and, you, and you, I'm trying to be positive all the time. I want to not trying. I am. I'm always pushing it. Still? Just, just share. Whenever you're having trouble, just share. I did. Yeah, like you heard me yesterday. You should have heard me when I came in. I was. I told Max I was about to cry. You know. Thank God we spoke, and uh, when I heard it again, I found myself. I was lifted. Thank God. That's good. Yeah, but the shoulder pain is still there. The thing is, the stagnant energy is still there, you know? Have you tried yes. using your mind's eye? Oh, I'm sorry. You need to believe it, Noha. Believe what? You know, it's, it's getting better? It's getting better. You are healing. 
Oh, yes. I'm doing it yes. every day, every day. I'm doing meditations with hypnosis. Now, uh, I'm it, what you're doing, what you're saying, put the feelings. Ah, Believe yeah. on that. Put I that am. in your heart. I understand. Come from heart to the I understand you. I understand. Forgive everyone. Oh. Everything. Okay? Yeah. Need to be in a constant state of forgiveness. Yes, yes, yes. You you pronounce what I wanted to say. Yes, forgive. Great, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Forgiveness, yes. Forgive them. You are still angry at them. You angry at uh, the company. You can, maybe? Even put your, you can put it on the wall the the sticky <laughs> notes. You're angry on this one, on this one, on this event, on this event. And you have to investigate. If you want to heal your shoulder, forgiving them okay. would be a uh, prescription. So here is my prescription. <laughs> forgive them. And Thank you, doctor. Forgive yourself too. <laughs> forgive them and yeah. yourself too. Sure. Number one and number two. Or you can switch. Yes. Now, when you forgive him, you don't have to forget the lesson. The lesson you keep, but the emotion is different. The lesson you keep, but you're not afraid anymore. You keep the lesson as a check mark. I know this, I have been there, mm -hmm. but I don't feel the pain anymore. I gave, let it go away. I, for, and it can be done without words, but with words it's even better. If you create your formulas which you accept fully, I really forgive them because I understand what happened. I made a choice. It could be a right choice. It could be a wrong choice. But I made it. At the moment, it felt right for me. Emotionally, I felt right. And it was unfair. And I understand it. But I let the pain go. I let it go. I let it go. That was the pain that they were unfair to me. I did everything right and it was unfair and I let it go. And you your pain right now energizes you. It's one of your motivations. You're afraid what will happen tomorrow in a year. You are still afraid and it's okay. Mm -hmm. But make this fear to be practical but not emotional. Stop feeling pain about the future. The pain about the future is called, uh, called anxiety. Yeah. And the pain about the past is called, is called depression. So right. this future pain and past pain, let them go. Keep the motivation, but the, let go of the pain. And it will go. Just let it go. Yeah. Also, also know how you don't have to validate what other people think about you or what you may think they think about no, 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 you. No, 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 no. And you can you can make your own truth. I'm sure you do, but I'm just saying, like, if somebody is judging you, you don't have to validate it. You can make your own reality. Right. Yes. Yes. Now, you mentioned someday about the dress that you are what you wear. Something designing, of the designing, the former dress, when we step up, we wear a bias. <sighs> no, a bias. something else, I'm sorry. I meant your way of dressing up defines you somehow. Uh -huh. And I the understand. I understand the way I dress that. up. Uh -huh. That's it is a statement. It is a statement. You have to make it. It is emotional and it feels right, especially because you're progressive. Now, yeah. is it still fully defining you, or maybe you can come over and you're so enlightened that you have don't have to attach your essence to the way you look? You mean I don't have to dress sophisticatedly? I don't do it much, you know. That's a, that's what you're trying to say. No, don't dress or overdress. I don't overdress. I'm trying to be natural. 
normal, you know, but sometimes the way I dress it does provoke people, you know that? I do believe in this. But this is your style. You know what I mean? Let me ask you, would it be mm -hmm. practical, you said yesterday, that yeah. you cannot take a walk? Yeah, I cannot. If you dress differently, would you be able to take a walk? No, 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 no. When you take, you take a walk, you're casual and you're wearing plain. You know what I mean? Plain, nothing sophisticated like are you going to a party or something. It's just plain and normal, you know, like your tracksuit and uh, your, but the black dress is on top of it. You know, when we walk outside, you must wear your black uh, formal dress. It's yes. A black. So but in you know, formal black attractive. dress, can you walk, take a walk? No, I can't. People are okay. jumping. Uh, okay. They're awful. They're like they're vulgars. You know what I mean? They, uh, they attack you. This is what they were taught, and the belief system still remain around there, and that's why you're yeah. there to deconstruct it. I'm part of it. Absolutely. Be example, yes, by being an example. But you don't I'm have to of... be there for others, though. You can be there for yourself and still serve everyone. How, and regarding what my walk, how I'm going to do that? Everything. Yeah, I understand this part, but this is way you pull yourself away and you send in love. What can you say? You're sending love to the to the area, and yet you find them every day. You know, like when I'm taking a walk, how I'm, how I look like? I'm plain. Nothing is attractive about me. No makeup. No nothing. I, put, I wear my glasses to look even more formal. You know, when you put glasses, you look older. You look more formal. You know. But still, people are weird. I wonder if it has to do with anything like the women being so covered that it represses like the human spirit maybe and makes them act out? I don't cover my face, though. I cover my body. I mean the whole you know? culture, like how everyone covers, that makes the women cover. Maybe yeah, it, they want it, to it represses the cover. human spirit. So it people, does. It makes it more exotic when, when things like exotic. that happen. Exotic, yeah. I can't cover my face. I cannot do that part. I have my glasses on. It's more than enough, you know. It's another way of covering, you know. <laughs> no harm. No I hear you. I hear you. So do you believe that you create your own reality, right? This is the thing that's driving me crazy. Another topic. You create okay. your reality. I want to. I want to create my reality, and it's not creating well, <laughs> what you're I want. Still holding on to belief systems that are limited. If you keep uh, holding on to thoughts that you go out and you dress a certain way, people are going to judge you, people are going to be weird and not going to accept you for who you are, then that is the type of reality you will see, you will perceive. But if you change from within, you have, you raise your vibration, you, ra you release belief systems and definitions that are of condition, and limitation, then you the mirror will only reflect back to you exactly what you put out. So if you put out not if you if, I mean if you if once you start thinking about oh somebody's going to look at me this way or oh, somebody's no, going no 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 uh oh Stephen I'm not that type you don't know me no 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 I'm not that that way listen I'm a light worker my heart is open everybody knows me you know when they say no how when they speak to me they my God you have a good heart I go I know this. But this is the way I dress up. I don't care how people receive me because from inside I feel good. And I, the, you know, sometimes when you dress up, you feel good, right? So this That's is how I feel. This is it. You feel good. This is how I want to be. I want to be like that. So they perceive me differently. Who cares? They've got their own money. They can spend it on themselves. You know, they're not that. Uh, you know, in a, in a lower situation or something. They do, but they're stingy. They don't want to spend on themselves. It's their own business. You know. But yeah. no, 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 I don't have, care about people. Women have obvious challenges. Women have subtle challenges that aren't recognized. True. You got like, it there. Women have get a lot more... Like, I'm sure if I was in your position, I'd probably be complaining about it a lot more. You know, I don't it ever is. hear you complain. It's a culture thing, you know? It's a culture thing. What can you say? It's beautiful. Yeah. But I'm what just giving you? hope. Yes. What I see in you is that you are so transformed, your vibration is so different. Since you when? think so much different from people from the, around me. You meet, yeah. Yes. That causes by itself 
exactly the whole vibrational storm it doesn't you, really you matter what it. you will wear you, this is it you nailed it this is why I want to be out of the space Can I want to move through time. I missed it say that again Max again Rojo. Rojo, repeat <laughs> oh I I just said that that your vibration is so different that when your vibration comes across the vibration oh, of I other see. people, it causes the storm. It causes the lots of vortexes and uh, fighting of the energies. It doesn't really matter what you dress because the energies interact. Mm -hmm. And I wonder what could you do to heal that? Yeah. Maybe well, you could thing, meditate and practice adapt to different energies so you you separate your inner energies and what you project. Uh, Projecting you know one and keeping inside another. Raho, it can be done yeah. in an in a honest fashion. It doesn't have to be a lie, but maybe it is Something like placing walls so you don't project your yeah. enlightenment too strongly so people don't get yeah. blinded. Yeah. When you're, you're, you're enlightened, sorry, I don't have to say that. I'm enlightened. I'm, say, I'm a light worker. But uh, people, when they see, see that you're a light worker, they get provoked. My God. You know what I mean? So, intention itself is not enough, by the way. If you, I want to go to a, a ceremony or something, I have to. I have to send energy beforehand, by the way. Otherwise, my own intention is not enough. You know, I do face that. I face it in reality. My intention, my good intention is not enough. There is a new idea in the air that before lifting people up, you have to bend down and start from the vibration where they are and lift. You cannot lift them up from above. You have to go down and help them. So, think about that. How can you start on their level and then bring them up? You're so far above that it, you scare them. You have to, like, you know when you meet small children and dogs, small pets, you might need to go... I get you now. Yeah, I get you. Yes, very, lit, very low and be less... You know something? They're not judgmental. They're not judgmental like the others. <laughs> They're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll kneel your back for them. But those people, oh my goodness. You know what I mean? When someone is judgmental, you gotta be, you know, slow with them. Yeah, but also it depends on what someone has gone through in the day. Because sometimes yes. people get, they reach a breaking point, even good people. Yes. Yeah, there is a story, uh, I, I perceive a story, there was a security worker in a university and great scientists passed through their door which he guarded and all he cared, you know, what kind of ideas they showed and they showed the ideas upside down, he got really upset. I don't know if it helps to you, but you know, he, the security worker couldn't even perceive the level of science they were doing. All he cared was the ideas. I see. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. So that has to do with your... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just uh, talking about... So basically, it's all about being balanced uh, to uh, a higher and lower vibrational energies so where you can be strong enough and as we are light workers that's what we are here to do is to raise vibrations raise the light quotient uh, raise the awareness and the consciousness of the people of a lower vibrational energy I mean everybody is equal everybody is the same but but, but because of our knowledge and our wisdom that's what sorta of differentiates us but that's what we're here is to spread that knowledge and spread that wisdom so we uh, in turn raise everybody along with ourselves. I would like to add to that the idea of service. Yes. Being of service, yes. 
May I ask a question, please? Oh, please, Sean, yes. I'm just wondering if uh, you have, if I have had any past lives with you because I feel a deep connection to you and I don't know what it is. Yes, you're one of us, yes. I cannot pass through any specifics, but your vibe is, yeah, one of us. Uh, it's something, how do you define it? Something of color and the vibe. Yes. It's, you know, we are hanging on nearby branches of the vibrational tree of life. Nothing wrong with being far from us, but, but being close is just feels uh, familiar like close family. Yes. Thank you for asking. Thank you for responding and thank you for giving me that information because I've asked beans before and they've been very, you know, careful of what they are saying. I need to start wrapping up. If anyone has anything urgent and burning, bring it up. Thank you. Do it. Does any anybody oh, want? Thank you. Thank you yes, for thank work you. and everything and connection. Yes. Thank yes. you, bro. Yeah, That's I would so invite fresh. blessings. If anybody could give us a blessing, um, that would be delightful. Uh, if you want. Yes, please. All right. The custom of Rokushka, she can stop and walk at Nikata. No Kostushna Kashi Nekata Kotre Kato Kostikata, that Nikata Kotas, that he can see Satrukusta Katan, that he has that Katas in the Hasta, a to Krista has to Kustoko Kotuataha. Naikata is he shed Kata Trusta Nakotua Ia. Thank you. I can say something. Oh, thank you. I can say something. Tora tikka 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 いしょとまやとりやかとあまりやそといさとらあらかいあののやきそとみあたれからあいやしゃとあらこそのやたいててかとしゃんなのといきたといまとしゃらいかたたまらいしゃとたおみや something now Yes. Is it everything? Anybody else? Let me reflect on it. Hmm. I was crying. I felt lonely. It was dark and I was feeling sorry for the world feeling sorry for the suffering of humans and animals and plants and the spirits beyond the veil. I felt sad and I felt despair. My friends, where are you, my gods, where are you? The source, the creator, what have I done wrong? Why this world is in such a sad state? And I heard the silence. There was no answer. Nobody came to me. The mirrors reflected my sad state. The rain was pouring on me like my tears. But still 
the flame was inside. I felt my essence was still in me. And I breath, breathed and blew some love into my essence. And the flame continued. And I collected the energy from the ground. I collected the energy from the falling rain. I collected the force from the suffering of everybody and gave it to the flame inside. And then the rain stopped. And the sky reflected my flame and the sun started to shine. And I sensed the glory of the creation and my friends and people who I didn't know and plants and animals sent me love and I felt one with them. The creation is sweet and nice and we are together. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Amen. Rahul, I was thinking something from your own language, a blessing from your language. I'm sorry, the language, that's Max already, the language doesn't come through. Uh -huh. That was beautiful, that was beyond beautiful. I'm, I'm inviting the language, sometimes I bubble, but it doesn't come as easy as with you guys yet. But my intention is to, uh, to bring it through. Yes, I, I invite more of that. Thank you, everybody. You will find us on humancolony.org. Join us. Uh, build your network. Connect to each other and build the groups of interests. I um, invite private uh, invite private channel request for private channel sessions. You can find my information on humancolony.org. My email is max at humancolony.org. If you want to be part of these webinars, these hangouts, uh, email me and um, I will include you in uh, email invitations. I also um, offer computer repair services, like if your computer is bugged with viruses and bloatware, I can remotely work with you and uh, remotely uh, clean it up. So that's... Um, I. I uh, offer that service for money and um, I need to know how much is that because uh, I have I, I introductory price is twenty dollars an hour no for the remote uh, clearing yes. the computer stuff yeah twenty dollars an hour uh -huh. yes I we would, have to uh, be with you on the we have to be with you online or you do it remotely uh, uh, you will have to install uh, a small program and then they can access your computer. I see. And then after okay. that you will remove that program and nobody can access your computer anymore. Yes. Okay. I did it before so I know what, what I'm doing, yes. Okay, great. You're welcome. All right. Um, I think that's fine. That's, that's, that's it. Um, talk to you, I guess, tomorrow. I will try to do morning sessions as well and uh, watch us, watch the announcements and uh, uh, if you don't get the announcements, email me and you will be invited. Goodbye, everybody. Let me put my glasses on. Much love. Much love. Oh, much love. Uh, Atava, Bijan, Jax, Manuel, Noha, Sean, Siri, and Stephen. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.